The year does not begin in January. Every French person knows that. Only awkward English speakers think it starts in January. The year really begins on the first Monday of September. This is when Parisians get back to their desks after their month-long holiday and begin working out where they'll go for the mid-term break in November. It's also when every French project, from a new hairdo to a nuclear power station, gets underway. Which is why, at 9 a.m. on the first Monday of September, I was standing a hundred yards from the Champs Elysees, watching people kissing. My good friend Chris told me not to come to France. Great lifestyle, he said, great food, and totally unpolitically correct women with great underwear. But he warned me, the French are hell to live with. He worked in the London office of a French bank for three years. His theory was that the French are like the woman scorned. Back in 1940, they tried to tell us they loved us, but we just laughed at their accents and their big-nosed General de Gaulle. And ever since, we've done nothing but poison them with our disgusting food and try to wipe the French language off the face of the earth. That's why they built refugee camps yards from the Euro Tunnel entrance and refused to eat our beef years after it was declared safe. It's permanent payback time, he said. Don't go there. I found my new employer's offices. A grand-looking 19th-century building sculpted out of milky gold stone, and walked straight into an orgy. There were people kissing while waiting for the lift. People kissing in front of a drinks machine. Even the receptionist was leaning across her counter to smooch with someone. A woman too, who'd entered the building just ahead of me. I edged closer to the reception desk, where the two women had stopped kissing and were now exchanging news. The company obviously didn't believe in glamorous.